What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Margo for the Game Boy Color and this is a second take but uh in the last part we did the Dunes Club practice course and in this part we're going to do Dunes Club tournament now uh we're going to play a round of golf. Now, um, this is a second take because I had a failed take and in the middle of doing the first hole. I realized the game audio wasn't recording. So, uh, because of that, like, um, yeah, that, I'm just going to consider that a failed take. But uh, the, Dunes, the Dunes Club is a step up in difficulty, let's just say. There's cactuses and uh, we're using a character that does not have great impact and control, which we might have to change in the next level up. So, uh... Yeah, so we're going to have to be a little careful where we hit the ball. So uh, that's not a bad shot, but uh, we have 185 yards of green. So uh, 90 mile per hour win, though. But um, all right, 94, 98%. So I'd say around here we should hit it. Shit. Yeah, that's not, that's not going on the green. Actually, it is. No, it's not going on the green. I aim that too much to the left because I fucked up the accuracy. But uh... Yeah, there is this this course I think is a little bit of a step up in difficulty. Not a drastic step up in difficulty, but one that's like enough for like uh if you come unprepared, you can kind of fare worse, I should say. But at least I I par that, but uh I do like the music here, let's say. We hit we have more distance also and also once we clear the dunes club, we're also going to be able to get a uh club uh Again, I'm fucking up the accuracy, but uh, once we clear the du the Dunes Club, we're gonna be able to get a club that uppers our distance and all that. So uh, I think once uh, I think once that happens, I'm just gonna start look, look, focusing on uh, lowering, uppering like uh, impact control and draw and all that. Again, I'm fucking up the accuracy. The good thing I used the higher club. Uh, it's a little bit of a... It's a tough putt, but it's doable. Okay, we gotta aim this a little left, but, uh... Is that gonna go in? Yeah! There's our first birdie right there. Let's let's look at some names. Let's see. Let's look at the roll call. We've got Azalea. We've got Sherry. We've got Peppy from Star Fox 64. we got Junior. We got Tiny, we got Bill, we got Kid, we got Spike, we got Lakitu, we got Yukiki, we got uh, Plum from Mario Golf 64, we got Bubba, we got uh, Joe, we got Mr. I from Mario 64, we got Goomba, we got Harry from Mario Golf 64, we got Charlie from Mario Golf 64, we got Morton Koopa, we got Andros from Star Fox 64, and we got Sunny from Mario Golf 64. Now, uh... Unfortunately, though, this is the last of the Mario Golf games I feel has the f clever roster where uh, on the tournament. So, like, once I do, like, Toadstool Tour, it's going to get, like, less entertaining, let's just say. But, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, that's in the rough. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that green in two. So, uh, I'm going to use a power shot because... Well, I didn't fuck up the accuracy that time. But, uh, yeah, that kind of guaranteed it went over the bunker. This hole can be kind of a pain in the ass to get on the green in two, let's just say. Okay, we're gonna, um, hit it in all the way. Maybe I should have put some backspin. That's a doable putt, though. There's no really much, there's not really much hill, so that's a doable putt. Oh yeah, second birdie. So, uh, yeah, Tiny is actually the champion of the Dunes Club, so we're going to face him in match play uh, after this is done. So, uh, I'm not really confident a 7-iron is going to make it, so I'm going to go with a 6-iron, not hit all the way. I got it on near the green, but I aimed it too much to the right, so... Um Yeah, that was a nice chip, let's just say, but uh, I didn't think I was going to chip out of that, but that was a great chip. Now I'm getting the accuracy down. It's been a week, though, since I recorded this. Like, uh, like I, I have, like, the last bit of Mario Golf's game. I really record, like, once or twice a week, so basically, like, because that, I, like, when I get the remaining videos dumped, I record an additional twice a week, but, uh... Oh wait, we're gonna hit the uh, cactus. So, uh, um, let's use the three. Actually, 
let's really think out the shot. Yeah, I think it's gonna hit the cactus, so I'm using the three wood. Well, it didn't hit the cactus, but I had the right idea at least. Oh, 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 oh no, I almost chipped it in again. I, I definitely had the right idea. And we're almost in the lead. We're all, and Tiny's actually in first place, but we're almost in the lead. So we're doing great, fantastic, let's just say, for the Dunes Club. I think my next level up, regardless of what happens next, is going to be for uh, impact control. Because we need wider impact to control, otherwise we're going to have a lot of tough shots. I'm going to use a forward and put backspin into it. A doable putt. I'm we're actually doing a good job, believe it or not. Maybe I've just played enough Mario Golf in preparation that I'm just really good at this all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, we are in the lead. We're tied with a uh, tiny. When we face Tiny, however, in match play, he's gonna be a significant step up in difficulty from Grace. Alright, so uh yeah, we're gonna aim this. Uh, we're gonna use a three wood because I think that uppers the odds we make it on the green. Yeah, and I had the right idea. I, I overshot it, but I had the right idea. It's a little bit of a tough putt, but it's uh, it's not the most impossible putt, let's just say. But uh, yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna skew to the left. So what we're gonna do is um, it's uphill. I aimed it too much to the... I didn't aim it to the right enough, so... But I had the right idea. So we're, again, we're tied for the lead, so... Uh, oh, this hole can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to uh, do, so... Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm just going to hit use a four wood and uh, not hit it all the way. Because this hole can be a little bit of a pain to get over the bunker, and I still didn't get over the bunker. On chip, 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 no chip. We have to par out this hole. This hole's a, some of these holes in this course are a bit of a pain, let's just say. We're gonna go high risk, high reward with this hole. If you can get it on this fairway, you can get it in the green in two pretty easily. It looks like we can get it on that fairway too. As long as we get over the bunker. Ooh. Yeah, uh. This is the first time we're going to use the save trick, but uh, I'm not going to try that method again, but uh, we're just going to play it safe this time. But uh, those that have seen my Mario Golf 64 LP know that they pr program a lot of these Mario Golf games to kind of have save features, but at the same time, you can kind of exploit the save trick. So yeah, we I think we got to let go of the idea we're going to get on that green in two because I, we're not going to get on that green in two. So we, as long as we hit it over the water, which we did, so we'll get a, we'll get a th we'll get a birdie on this hole at least. We didn't ship for eagle, unfortunately, but that's an easy birdie right there. And I fucked up. Great, I fuck up an easy birdie. Oh. My using the save trick I am not oh I'll, I'll take the L that is fucking horseshit I went from I, I like I should not have gotten that bogey let's just say but uh sometimes you just gotta admit defeat because I didn't want to do the save trick a sec I already did the save trick once but uh I want to keep using the save trick to a minimum much like in the Mario Golf 64 playthrough think that's gonna go on the green I should have just kept with the higher club come on we were doing good come on chip 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 yes back on track we're back in the lead with how bad my accuracy has been I'm not risking uh 
I'm not risking using a lower club. It's a little bit of a tough putt, but it's as long as we get it on the green. It's a little bit uh, uphill, but uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're back in the lead. We're back on top. I am so gonna increase impact and control because I forgot how bad kids impact and control is. It's definitely the worst of the characters. So, uh, cause I was just, I had an easy time using some of the other, I, I will say I had an easier time using some of the other characters, let's just say. Well, it's definitely a good thing I used that. Club. I, just, I still didn't make it on the green also. Come on, chip, chip, no chip. All right, that's a uh, par. So as long as we're in the lead, again, the AI should be the uh, the cap, the opponent should be fucking up now that we're at the back nine. So um, that's a good power shot. So um, I might even make my club's ball go higher. Like I might start like stop leveling up the height so I can get the uh. So I can get better shots, let's just say, because I prefer the ball to go higher, so, um... I have a feeling all... I have whatever kind of feeling that it's going to hit the cactus, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a power shot. It didn't hit the cactus, but I still had a, had a right... It, I didn't hit... I overshot it, but, uh... If I had not used the power shot, I wouldn't have made the green, so I had the right idea at least. That's an easy birdie right there. Well, I said this the last par five, but that's an easy birdie. Alrighty, so uh, we only got five more holes left, so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use a power shot because the wind's going 16 miles per hour down, backspin. Seven from the hole, so we're gonna use a three. I think a three would, I think the three would guarantees we make it on the green, so we're using that. So, yeah, I had the right. It's a, it's not an easy putt though, but I can do it. I can probably do it. Just aim it a little to the left, don't put as much oomph in it. And I, I didn't aim it to the left enough. I guess we'll take the par. We're three, we're three, we're seven in our par, we're three points ahead of uh, Tiny. So we should be able to win this even if we do get a bogey. I bogeyed out hole nine, so that's a good thing. I should, I honestly should not have bogeyed out hole, hole nine, but uh. Ooh, if that had better accuracy, that could have gone in, but we'll have to take the par then. So, uh, yeah, the game audio is still recording, thankfully, because I unfortunately did have a failed take of this. Nice shot indeed. We have three more holes left, so we should be able to, we're in a good position to win this. Plus, we're going to get more, we're going to... Try to uh, see if we can get our impact control up. So we're gonna use a, I'm gonna use a power shot because I feel I'm more comf that's a better odds gain on the green with that. I'm not really super confident. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten it if I didn't use a power shot. So that's why I wasn't confident. That's gonna skew to the right because of the hill, so. Only a little to the right, so I guess we gotta go uphill. So we'll get put, put more oomph in the putt. It still isn't enough though, but we'll have to, we'll just take the par. And uh, yeah, two more holes and we win this. This is another one of those holes that's hard to get it on the green in two. We're, I'm not, I'm just not gonna bother. I'm gonna use a power shot. 
Yeah, because I had a feeling since the wind was going down, the accuracy. Yeah. Go like this. That's an easy birdie. So we got another birdie for the roll. One more birdie for the haul. Though we have another hole left, so you never know. The wind's going down though, so uh. Yeah, I think once I get the club that uppers your uh, distance, uh, I'm going to stop, like, leveling up. I'm going to try to level up uh, distance less because we're, like, 225 yards. So, we'll, like, go from, like, 222 – we're, like, 222 yards. So, we'll go from that to, like, 245, I think. So, uh, one more birdie for the hole, and we win the Dunes Cup. So, look at that scorecard. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that bogey happens, but – uh. We got one level up, and uh, we we'll probably get two level ups out of this. Oh shit! Um, we're gonna get, we are going to level up this, and uh, let's go distance. A new champion has appeared at Dune Club today. It's Kid from the Marion Club. I now present this trophy to Kid. Congratulations, Kid. Anyway, so that was the Dunes Club tournament. Now, um, congratulations on winning the Dunes Club tournament, but don't settle for that. Keep climbing on the ranks. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, Go here also. We got a one-up mushroom, so that gives us another level up. So um let's go uh fade and draw and uh Hey, you want me to the club maker middle here, club? Yes. Where to start? Pretty ba low balance. My club makes your game unique. Wanna try one? We get either the distance club or the control club. The control club uppers your uh impact control but uh lowers your distance where the distance uh club uppers your drive but it also gives you a wider fade or draw so what we're gonna use the distance club so uh yeah so uh next time on mario golf of the game boy color we're gonna play a match game against tiny see you guys then